Good morning, guys. Today's video is going to be so fun. I've been wanting to do this, honestly, since I've come back home. You can see that I made my coffee in the beginning of this video. So it's definitely grab a coffee and a snack kind of moment. If you just want to hang out, I'm going to show you guys a random haul. I rarely got to actually do these in Florida because I just lived in a place where there just were not stores and I would have to drive pretty far to like do those things. I, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. So I've got Target, I've got Amazon, I've got Ross, and I've got Five Below and I have so much stuff to share with you guys. So I'm gonna take one little sip and then we're gonna dive in. Also, you guys are seeing my hair for the first time without me like being in a hat. It's pretty dark. I'm trying to get used to it. Okay, so, oh God, my hands. I need to put some like lotion on them or something. Um, what should I do first? Let's go with Target first. There's not actually very much. I actually went in there to get Micah a skirt and a pair of like mom jean shorts that she wanted and she needed a beauty blender. So all three of those things are not in here because she already took them. I picked up this Pixie by Pe Petra, Petra, don't know who this is, on the Glow Bronze. It's a tinted moisture stick. And then I saw someone, who did I see apply this on TikTok? And I was like, oh, I got to try that. So let's just like try to put it on. I mean, I do have blush on. You can't really tell because I'm using Luminoso from Milani and it's like a peachy color, but, and oh, this is like super nice. And it, oh, it feels really nice. I can say, I mean, just from this one swatch and also do your lips, like it's hard to see it a little bit, but I'm gonna still play with this. And it is a very beautiful natural color. I will say that because the pink one that I have from Amazon, it is like, whew, it's pink. So it's really nice to actually have something that's a little bit more toned down. Okay, next up, listen, like, you know, all I do is wear black. Today, I literally forced myself to pull in some color, but I saw this cute little dress and I thought, you know what? I feel like basic things sometimes can be hard for me to find because either the strap is too thick or there's something, you know, like off about it that I just don't like. And when I saw this little dress for $12, I thought, get this. Cause this will be a great transition into fall as well. Cause you can put like a t-shirt underneath and that would look really cute. And then you can wrap like a little flannel around the waist. It is like a, like it's going to hug you. You know what I mean? It's not like tight, but it's like fitted. So it's gonna have that effect, well, depending on what size you get. I did go with a medium. I just thought this was a really great little summer dress. And I'm always in like sneakers of some form. And I thought, you know, you know me, I wear hats all the time. I knew this would fit into my wardrobe so well. And I just don't even have a little black, simple dress like this. $12, yeah. Then I picked up this. It's another one of those things where it's basic and I feel like it's hard for me to find. And I went ahead and grabbed it. It's like a little crop top, but I don't think it's too crop toppy, if that makes sense. And the back, I don't know if you can tell, is a little bit longer than the front. And this was $18. I thought that was a very good price. And I just know I'm gonna wanna wear this, like for fall especially. I could see myself wearing this over biker shorts and going for a bike ride, going for my walks, things like that. So it's just such a good basic for me. So I was just like, no, this, this is your opportunity to grab it. Coffee break. All right, now let's go into Amazon. Now I'm actually gonna do a fully dedicated, massive clothing Amazon haul. There's also gonna be some jewelry and you're gonna see these things in here as well when that video gets released, which I'm gonna be honest, is probably gonna be towards the end of July. So stay tuned for that. I'm just trying to like really dive in, find amazing finds on Amazon so that I can kind of take all that work off of your hands. This guy right freaking here. This is my third bottle. 
I've gone through one entire bottle, which I've never really done. It's, it's heavy. There's product in here. My second bottle, unfortunately, got taken from me at the airport. Now I know what you're thinking. You deserve that because clearly this is above the limit. But do you know how many times coming back and forth from Texas to, to Florida, how many times I took this and they never took it? I just one time, one person did, you know, it was just, uh, I don't know. So I had to rebuy it because they took it. Now I do know that I could have had them like keep it and I could have picked it up. It was a whole thing, you know, so I did it. So anyways, third bottle, this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna link all my Amazon stuff down below. This is a texturized spray. One thing that I struggled, now I'm not wearing this. I want you to know I am not wearing this right now. One thing I struggle with is because my hair is so fine, I feel like it sits too flat on me. Now today, I just wanted my hair to just, you know, be chill. But this gives me volume like I've never seen before. I have no idea why I have this, why I bought this, but like here we are. This is the Evian, Evian water, it's a facial spray, you just spray it. I found this girl on TikTok who changed my world about makeup. Now. I'm not a primer girl. I really don't want to apply too much when it comes to like creams on my skin. I just feel like it clogs my pores personally. And so I've never really been into primer. So all I would do is slap on some moisturizer and then do my makeup. She, but my makeup would fade. That's something that I noticed because I also wasn't wearing like foundation. I was wearing a BB cream. So everything was just really fading. So she says the trick is your face has to be fully wet. Now you don't have to do this. You can just wet it from the sink. Why I got this, I don't freaking know. I just wanted to be bougie, I guess. Wet your face. Then while it's soaking wet, you're gonna take hyaluronic acid. So I got this from Amazon. Now I buy hyaluronic acid all the time. I went with a different brand this time. I went with this one. Again, I'll link it down below. This one I think is really good. Then you let that sit. It's gonna feel weird because your face is gonna be soaking wet, but don't touch your face. Don't pat dry, don't do anything. And it will actually dry quicker than you think. Once that sets in, you go in with a vitamin C serum. Apply that, then go in with your moisturizer and then do your makeup. And girl, my makeup was lasting. I was so shook by this. And I was applying good products. Now, something I've also noticed is that when they say consistency is key, they're not lying. Consistency really is key. I've started already noticing such a difference in my like pigmentation and all of that or like hyperpigmentation on my skin. Just be consistent with the products that you're using. So anyways, I do this in the morning. Even if I don't do my makeup routine, spray water, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C serum, let it sit, moisturizer, go on about your day. If you wanna put on sunblock, put on sunblock, but I personally don't, don't do sunblock. All right. Next up, I picked up the Ordinary Lactic Acid. This is my second bottle. This lasts forever. This is a PM routine for my skincare. I alternate days. So one, like Monday, I'll do lactic acid, other, other stuff. And then the next night, I'll end up doing um, my retinol. And the retinol, I kind of leave and do it on its own and I don't add any like acids on the retinal day. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Don't take my word for it, but that's what I do. The, the Ordinary is so good. It's so good. It's some of the cheapest that's out there, you guys. And yeah, so I'm gonna link that down below. Next up, this guy right here. I am so freaking excited for this. It says faded. I know there's multiple, um, stuff to this line. The packaging is actually really cute. And this is a brightening and clearing serum. Now, what I've seen on TikTok about this, because this is a TikTok made me buy it, is the girl talked about how it just like took away all her hyperpigmentation. And I struggle with it massively in my forehead and it has gotten so much better. It's actually insane. Not so much because of this, because I just started using this, but because I've been consistent with my hyaluronic acid and my vitamin C, but I'm using this once a week right now. I'm using it as directed. It says once you kind of get used to it, you can up how often you use this. And I'm really just hoping like, 
this little spot, I can't tell if it's a freckle or not, but I don't know. I feel like it's a hyperpigment spot. And it's hard to see on my forehead, but I have a huge like splotch, but it has gotten so much better. And this I know is going to really hopefully even out my skin. And next up, I finally got a refill on or bought it again, this perfume. This is the cream creme vanilla, or it's just a vanilla scent. It's so freaking good. And I get so many compliments when I wear this. I am very much a vanilla or coconut scent kind of girl. That's where I live. Sometimes a fresh apple. Um, I just cannot smell like florals. It's not my thing. Um, and this is just so good. Then I found this little set. I saw a girl talking about this on TikTok and she's just like the little lemon guru. And she said, this is an exact dupe. And honestly, I believe her. I don't have any Lululemon stuff, but I've been to the store. I know what it feels like. And you guys, th this is the same freaking material. Now, this is a separate, but they are the same maker. So they, they go together. So this is like a little yoga racer back top. Look at that. Looks just like freaking Lululemon. And it feels like butter. And that's what Lululemon does. Now, what people don't know is that there are so many brands that use the same exact factory and fabric as Lululemon, but you're just paying for, you know, their little mark, which is fine. Like I buy like a Lululemon stuff, you know, whatever. That's, that's great. Like I love, I love Ralph Lauren. You know what I mean? Like whatever, no judgment. It's a judgment free zone. But for me, I love that I got this for a freaking fraction of the cost. And these shorts are so freaking cute. I wear these together all the time. I also want this in the brown color, but I think the shorts are sold out right now. I also want it in the blue color and pink, but they have a lot of colors to choose from. Now, I thought these were really cute. I think they're supposed to be the Hermes dupes. I feel like there are some belts that just seem very overplayed for me personally, like um, Coach or Gucci or whoever that belt is. I like some of the more understated ones you don't see very often. So this one, I can't even get this like thing off of it because there's tape and I don't, there we go. Okay, so look how simple that is. Like that is so pretty. It's so understated, but there's something there. It's not like a plain buckle with just like the circle thing. I just think this is so pretty. Really carefully, um, well, we already know what's gonna happen here, so. Little black, and the thin belts. I'm digging the thin belts. So there's several other belts I'm looking at right now. So I'm gonna link everything actually that's in my cart currently. Another sip. No, really, who invented coffee? Like how did, like someone saw beans growing and they were like, let me crush it. And then, I mean, coffee was not easy to make back in the day. So like, I'm so confused. It's, it's honestly, I feel like we should be questioning more than we do. Like surely someone had to have had some type of handbook. All right, let's get into Ross and I'm, no one's gonna be surprised by this haul whatsoever. I gotta come straight out the gate for this sports bra, bra right here. I'm probably gonna spend way too much time talking about this, but I feel like I have to say it, and I know some of you will probably understand, and if you do, comment down below and let me know if you're, you're like the same as me with this thought. But for me, I when I find stuff like this that is like something I would design, something I'm so obsessed with, and I would actually pay retail, probably maybe even double retail, but I didn't because I found it for like $17.99. I get so giddy. Like, like I've just made the biggest discovery of my life. I mean, I would have, and this retailed at $60. I would have definitely paid 90. <laughs> Cause there are just some things, I don't know how to describe it. There are just some things that when I see it, I'm so in love with it. It's so me and I would pay the money maybe to have it. Seems ridiculous. Yeah, I am. I'm very much on that vibe, but I didn't have to pay that. 
The back of this is absolutely stunning with the Nike. And then the, just this little front with that. I will think about this purchase for the rest of my life. And because I know it's one of a kind, I'm gonna have to be so delicate with washing this. Like this will never end up in the dryer. It's gonna be delicate cycle. It's gonna air dry because this has gotta last me the rest of my life. Then I found this one, a nice, good white sports bra. Now I'm not a fan of the padding, so I'm gonna take it out. And this was $14.99 and it retailed for $38 sports bra. I really feel like I didn't have a good white one. There's some things about it I'm not a huge fan of, but here it is. You can see it's looking a little bit more bulky. It is a medium. It retailed for 75 freaking dollars. That's why I get giddy. Like, I just feel like I want to talk about it. I want to call my all my family and friends. I want to be like, look at this bra I got for this price. Um, $16.99. 16 freaking 99 um but let me show it to you guys up close okay so we have this first layer right here that is mesh and it's stunning now the part that i'm kind of like mm, maybe as i wear it i'm gonna love it i know i'm gonna love it it's this silk i was hoping like i think had they done this mesh right here that would have made this sports bra one of my top three faves of all time, including this one. All right, then I picked up these shorts. Now, I really wanted to have such a good like Ross haul for you guys, but this Ross was so picked over. I probably went on the wrong day, but this is Under Armour. And I really don't, I don't think I have anything that's Under Armour, if I'm being honest. This was $9.99. Like I could wear this together and go on a run. I can even do this one from Amazon do this little like combination. Like how pretty is that, you know? So I got that. And then the last thing is this Adidas shirt. Another brand that I'm trying to up in my athletic collection is gonna be Adidas. Um, most of what I have is Nike. So anyways, this is just a good plain basic, which I feel like gets a lot more rare these days with these brands because they try to do too much to the item like sim a simple Adidas emblem on one side. Love it, keep it simple. Like I feel like there were these OG like crew neck sweatshirts back in the day in the 90s where it was Nike, it was like Heather Gray, you get the check mark, and that was the end. Now sometimes they ruin it and do like all the labels and it's like, I want something more simple and classic. So I got it because of that, I know it's wrinkly, Nothing on the back, thank God. This is $25, but I got it for $11.99. And let's get into the last store, which is five below. This store for me personally, based off of being in DFW most of my life and then spending a year in Florida in the panhandle, five belows have either been a hit or a miss for me personally, um, it's never consistent. Like Dollar Tree is always a freaking hit. It, they never miss. I know that's just my humble opinion, but I struggle with Five Below a little bit. I feel like I did pretty good on this haul. So it's really random and really fun. So stick with me on this one. All right, I bought this straight up out of convenience. I kept, I was trying to remember to get this at Dollar Tree. I forgot. I was in five below, I was like, I just gotta grab it because I keep forgetting to get the waste bags. And especially being in an Airbnb apartment kind of situation, Loki doesn't have his own backyard. So, you know, if he was in his own backyard, I'd kind of leave his poop, I'd clean it before I like mow kind of thing. But I, I have to have these bags. This, I LA Colors is also sold at five below. It's also sold at Dollar Tree. Um, I saw this little lip oil. It is in the color Honey Bun. When you check my description box, you will see that I'm linking a honey infused lip oil because that's something I've been wanting to have for some reason. And then I found something similar at Five Below. I'm still gonna get the one from Amazon because I'm gonna wanna compare, but I wanna open this and I just, I gotta try it. Wand is 
questionably thin. Oh, that don't matter. Oh, it's an oil for sure. And it smells so good. It tastes so good. Don't eat it, but like, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so that lived up to my expectations. All right, next up, because it's a whole Barbie world and the Barbie movies coming out, I found this coloring book, adult coloring book. Look at this. Wow. Probably every Barbie in every era is most likely going to be in here. Like, look at that. Just try to do a little flippy for you guys. I am kind of surprised by the casting of Barbie. Um, not so much Margot Robbie, but what's his face? I don't know. I just thought they would make them a little bit younger, but like, whatever. There we go. All right. So this was probably, I don't even know, honestly, what this, what, where's my receipt? Okay. Then I found this old maid game. You can see it says a dollar. If you don't know, I'm on this quest. Then anytime I see old maid, I'm going to buy it. And I do this for junk journaling because... The thing about Old Maid is that it's always done in different formats and it's so fun to like collect them. So this is kind of like a collector's, but I will also use it with junk journaling. So I thought this was really cute and I decided to get it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you guys what the cards look like, but they're just so good for journaling. Like, look how cute they So fun. Oh yeah, these are gonna be really fun to journal with. Okay, so we got those. Next up, I got this simply because I just felt like it. This was something I grew up, now they also have a My Little Pony version, but what really drew me to this little $5 notebook, obviously they've got these cute little tabs. It's just so fun and vibrant, it reminds me of a child, like Lisa Frank, all the colors were so big in the 80s. I mean, we were doing two color eyeshadows, like bright pink and bright blue, you know what I mean? But when I opened it, it's like a bullet journal. And that surprised me so much. Like I just, yeah, I think I was just absolutely freaking speechless. Oh, look how cute that is. So it's really the little dots. The dots are kind of what makes it a bullet journal style. And I think this will just be a really fun bullet journal for me because I, I love journaling. I love any kind of journaling, any kind of planner, happy planner, bullet journaling, traveler's journal, junk journaling. Like that's just my jam. Then I found this little guy right here. I mean, strawberries get me. You can see it, um, it was $3.50. I'm gonna go ahead and Kind of remove this. This is a daily 2023-2024 planner. So pretty. And look, the inside is all red. And you get the month at a glance. These are your days of the week. This is just something that I could definitely see myself just keeping in my office. Then I found these little seed packets and this is what I want to find. I want to find junk journal supplies that like, look at this. As you can see, it was $1.50, very comparable to Dollar Tree, but this is this blows Dollar Tree out of the park. Just the way that this is packaged. Now there are actual seeds. This is for planting, but I use this for junk journaling. Got those. Then I found these two little stickers. Uh, they were $2 and they're just so cute. You can definitely pause on the screen if you just need to take your time to look at them but they just were too cute to pass up on. Like the little milk, like that is so cute. And the boba tea or whatever that's called, like look at that one. <laughs> okay, how do I explain this? Obviously this is like a slime. This is neon butter twist slime gloop, pre-made and ready to play. I got this for myself. And I recently started following this account on YouTube and they make slime. 
and I actually want to order some whenever we move and get into our new house. One of the first things I want to order for my office is slime or whatever you would call this. You're probably wondering why, but I feel like this would be a really good alternative as a stress ball. I've never actually liked the texture and the feeling of a true stress ball. There's just something about it that makes my skin crawl, but I do like the concept of, um, of having something to just like play with with your hand. If you guys know, you watch my Dollar Tree hauls, I buy all of the little fidgets and toys from Dollar Tree and the little poppets cause I, and I keep them in my desk cause I'll take them out and I'll actually pop them. And then I was like, what about some slime? So I started watching this, these videos cause they're just like ASMR for me. And then I was like, wait, oh yeah. Yeah, this is gonna do exactly what I want it to do. This is just something I can sit in my office and just kind of like play with, you know, and just like de-stress. So, and stress is really something big that I try to maintain um, and keep as low as possible because you really don't realize how harmful it is to your entire body, physically and mentally. Like, you know stress is bad, no one wants to have it, but you hold on to it, it's gonna start doing some damage. Um, and I actually talk about this in my book, my autobiography that's coming out. There's only gonna be 100 copies left in my Etsy shop. Those who order from my Etsy shop or these new orders, you're gonna get a signed copy and a note from me. Um, but I will say that any more name entries are done. There won't be any more name additions because I have to submit to Amazon for approval now. So I can't add any more names to my book. So, um, but if you do want a copy of my autobiography, I talk all about stress. I talk about what it did to me and how I fixed it. Anyways, this just, oh yeah. Oh, uh, this is everything. Sounds silly, but don't knock it till you try. The very last thing for today is this clue game. It's like a mini version, I'm not gonna really open it. I'm just gonna show you guys what the pieces look like on the back. This was $5, it's is a mini classics edition. They have a lot of mini games. I got this from a junk journaling perspective. $5, like this is perfect. I have so many versions of this for our actual game room. You guys have probably seen it. We do use them as actual board games. Mike and I love Clue, it's our favorite. So I don't need another version to play with. This is for jump journaling. So I'm gonna use all of these little cards and probably even use the board and use it and create a junk journal cover using the board. So I'm so excited. I know I've got a lot going on, but as soon as I move and get settled back in, I'm coming back with all the junk journaling live videos on Sundays. That is gonna be our routine now. So if you wanna join me live on Sundays, that's what we'll be doing. They're not coming back just yet, because I'm in an Airbnb, but then it'll be every Sunday. Every freaking Sunday, we're gonna hang out together and journal. And my junk journal kits will come back as well, so stay tuned for that. Um, but anyways, that is it. That is my random haul. I know it's probably a little long today, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below, let me know which store was your favorite. Was it Ross, uh, Target, probably not Target, uh, Amazon or five below. But this I'm very, very excited about. Um, and like I mentioned, if you wanna pre-order my book from Etsy, uh, it will be linked down below. Like I said, there's only be like 100 or 150 copies. I don't really know what it is. I'd have to look at my shop. That's all that's left from an Etsy perspective. You can also wait until it's released on Amazon. But Etsy orders will get their books first and they will come straight from me. If you want that, link down below and I will see you guys next time.